Today we are in the top suburb of San Antonio and that is Bernie, Texas. And we are actually looking at two of the newest neighborhoods in Bernie. And they are actually some of the most affordable neighborhoods in all of Bernie. And by some of the, I mean the most affordable. I mean, it is extremely hard to find houses in this price range in Bernie, but you're not gonna believe really what the prices of some of these houses are. I mean, we're gonna look two of these houses behind us. We're gonna go to one other neighborhood. We're in Shoreline Park right now, which is right by Bernie City Lake. But the next neighborhood that we're gonna go to is brand spanking new, never had any houses sold in it yet there's a ton of houses being built but there are nobody that has moved in it's gonna have three different amenity centers some of the best builders in all of San Antonio and its own elementary school and like I said brand spanking new and some prices that you're not going to believe in these neighborhoods now we're gonna get started right here in Shoreline Park so as we mentioned Shoreline Park is up in Bernie so we're looking here at San Antonio as a whole whenever we move up northwest you will see right where Bernie is okay so Bernie, one of the best suburbs in San Antonio, one of the most popular suburbs in San Antonio, but also one of the most expensive, like I mentioned. So Shoreline Park, as you can see, you see this little lake right here. This right here is Bernie City Lake. So Bernie City Lake butts right up to Shoreline Park right here. So KB Homes at Shoreline Park is located right there, just a little bit northwest of Bernie. You can see it's right on the highway right here, which makes it super easy for commuting, getting down into San Antonio. So all you have to do is go straight down Ranger Creek Road, takes you straight to I-10, jump on I-10, head to San Antonio for work. It's as simple as that. Or you can just, if you're working from home, you can drive down to La Cantera, the Ram, any of those places down there on that north side of San Antonio to for easy, easy access. And then as you can see, Bernie City Lake's pretty solid lake, good sized lake, got the Bernie Hill or Bernie City Lake Park up there. And then like I mentioned, it backs right up to it. You can see it's going to be developed. Let's go to the satellite view here. So you can see where all the development is lots of development to come and you've got the amenity center and everything's going to go right in here right by the lake it's going to be a outstanding place now a couple of little things that you need to know about kb at shoreline park 1.86 percent tax rate much lower than that 2.4 ish percent on average in san antonio you also have a really really reasonable hoa fee for being right on the lake and having an amenity center with a pool and everything in the future 700 dollars a year it's 175 per quarter super super affordable guys and really really easy to go so let's go take a look at some of these houses now. The first house that we're going to look at by KB Homes in Shoreline Park is this one right here. This is part of their signature series. It's the 2495 plan, which is just 2495 square feet. So basically a 2500 square foot house. So let's go and take a look. So one thing you'll notice, eight foot doors coming in, front patio. And so this is their signature series. So like I said, this is KB Homes. KB Homes across the country actually has kind of a negative view, right? You have a lot of people that think KB is super cheap. They've had all kinds of issues. That's really any builder, especially that has built as many houses as KB. But here in San Antonio, especially my experience with my clients that I've helped buy KB Homes, it has been outstanding. I mean, the, the product that you get is amazing. And this house specifically in this neighborhood, you can build from the ground up so you can customize everything. You can add floor finish finishes, colors on the walls, you can change the exterior, you can change what kind of countertops you put in the kitchen, what color the cabinets go, you can change just about everything. It is almost fully customizable. Now, you go to their design center and you get to pick out all the options that they have available for you, but it is one of the few builders that actually lets you do all of that stuff. So when you walk into this floor plan, the 2495, like I said, you have a half bath right here at the front, little coat closet, Tall ceilings, nine foot ceilings downstairs, which is rare on a two story house. You know, big open railing right here going upstairs. One of the things that you will notice is that the carpet here is actually not builder grade carpet. So you have the option to upgrade to a more plush, nicer, higher quality carpet versus just the kind of shag, low grade builder quality carpet that you, you know, could see in other builders. Now, um, the, what I really like about these houses that they do in Shoreline Park is the finishes of the kitchen. I mean, the countertops, these quartz countertops are just amazing. They do the big open farmhouse sinks. You have the backsplash with the vent hood. You have built-in oven with the cooktop. I mean, you have all kinds of stuff in these houses and they, like I said, they let you upgrade all of this stuff. So you can pick the backsplash, you can pick the countertops, um, cabinet colors, all of this. You even come in here to the laundry room and you have this huge, countertop space with all of these cabinets in here in the uh, in the laundry room itself so that's very very rare for a production grade builder like this and one thing that you'll notice too about this one is that you have the half bath up front and then you have this like flex space so this one doesn't have any doors but you could door you know close it off with doors 
add, use this as an office, use it as a playroom, whatever you wanted to do. Backyards back here, you can kind of see, we'll go outside. This one has a covered patio. No, it doesn't have a covered patio. So some of these houses you'll notice, and if you look over at the houses that have sold behind us, you'll notice some of them have covered patios, some of them don't. That is an option that they let you add, or if you don't necessarily need that, you can take it off too. Personally, for me, Texas, you're gonna want a covered patio, especially in the summer, but it is what it is. You know, that's part of their, you know, being a lot more affordable, which kind of comes back to the price point that we talked about. So this one in particular, like I said, 2,500 square foot house. They build houses from 14, 14 and a half, 1450 square feet, all the way up to 3,400 square foot houses. And when we get over to that next one, after we look through it, I'll tell you exactly what that house would go for, as well as the price range for all of these. So make sure you stick around. We'll go look upstairs and we'll kind of take a look and see what they got going on here. And then we'll go and show you why this neighborhood is so good. And being Shoreline Park, like I said, it's on Bernie City Lake. So we'll show you exactly how close this neighborhood is to the lake itself. So when you come up, you notice that one of the rare things actually is that, you know, the stairs have carpet and then you have it transitions to the, to the luxury vinyl tile up here, which is really cool. I mean, usually these builders, they put carpet across everything. Um, so this is an upgrade that you can do. Big, huge open space, little, this cool little workspace area. All your bedrooms are upstairs in this floor plan. So you have the master here, which is a huge master. And you have huge, really nice master bathroom here. So you got double sinks, You've got the garden tub and the walk-in shower, separate, you know, toilet area, and then pretty good sized master closet. Not the biggest in the world, but again, it's, it's doable for me personally and my wife, this would be fine for us. So when you go into these other bedrooms, like I said, 2,500 square foot, <clears throat> you've got your other bathroom right here with a little vanity area. I believe that you can add a second sink there if you really wanted to add a second sink other bedrooms here are pretty good size actually so this one itself is a three bedroom you've got like I said you've got that flex space for the office downstairs decent size bedrooms closets I mean kind of classic style you know not a walk-in closet but not half bad more storage here linen closet here and another decent size bedroom here so like I said these these homes see the bigger closet there it finishes in these homes surprise a lot of people because they think KB, they think bottom of the barrel, they think that they're getting a lower quality product just based off what they've heard, but that is not the case with these homes. And I have noticed that across the board, even the homes that, you know, that come back on the market. So this neighborhood specifically, they don't build spec homes here. They only build from the dirt up. And the ones that you do see available for sale, I had a client buy one of those that came back available last year. They are homes that people were building previously and then they canceled those contracts for whatever reason. A lot of times it's military and they get moved somewhere else or relocated for work or whatever. But you'll see those come back on the market and those are the ones that you can buy. So like right now, this floor plan, a very or I think it's, uh, yeah, it's this exact floor plan for sale for $425,000. Now, again, that doesn't, it's not the range. That is not the lowest price house in this neighborhood. Like I said, you go all the way down to 1450, 1500 square feet. So you can get houses a lot cheaper than that. Like I said, we're gonna go over to this next one now and I'll tell you exactly what kind of price range you can get when we go over there. Now house number two in Shoreline Park is a single story right here. So gave you an option for the two story home with really nice finishes and everything. Now let's look at the single story home. I told you about the price differences here. So I'll go ahead and give you those. The price range here in Shoreline Park, look at this eight foot door here on this house too. The price range here in Shoreline Park, Park for the 14, like I said, 1450-ish square foot, all the way up to 3,400 square foot, is 322,000 up to around 450,000. I mean, can you imagine getting a 3,400 square foot house in Bernie in the best, literally best suburb, most popular suburb in all of San Antonio for 450,000? It is a hard time. If you go find a resale right now, there's 1,500, 1,600 square foot houses out there resale that are for sale for 400,000. You can get a 3,400 square foot house for 450,000. That's just unbelievable. And that's why these houses are selling pretty quick. And like I said, you have to build from the ground up. So you can reach out to me. Like I said, you know, I've told you guys many times before, my name is Michael McCall. I run the Life in San Antonio, Texas home group here in San Antonio. 
Antonio. We work the entire area around San Antonio, all the suburbs, Bernie, Bolverde, New Braunfels, Seguin, Lavernia, and then all the way around San Antonio. We love working with new build clients just like yourself. So if you're looking to build from the ground up, this is something that I absolutely love helping people with. I love being involved in the process from start to finish, being there for all the walks, all the different inspections from the foundation, the frame stage, and the final inspection. I've got a construction background, so being able to help you through that process is something that I love and it's something I'm very, very familiar with. So if you have any questions about that process here in Shoreline Park or any other neighborhood, you can reach out. My information is in that details below in the description below. And uh, I think it's right there too. I think I put it right there. Single story house now here in Shoreline Park. So you got two bedrooms here and you've got the bathroom, which is pretty nice here. You also got a closet. This is your AC unit here, little coat closet there. And then your bathrooms, like I said, so this one is 2000 square foot. So it's, you know, again, a healthy size house, but you've got a decent amount of space here. I think you got a space to put a double vanity there if you really wanted to. Two bedrooms here. They've got tile throughout. So if you don't like carpet, you can definitely do tile throughout these houses. Um, and then we go in here to the kitchen and living area. And I would be willing to bet you that you're going to find similar finishes to what we just had. So another big, huge island here. Countertops is kind of just your typical white quartz countertops. Still a really nice backsplash though. And even that dark wood actually looks really cool with that blue back backsplash there. Um, you don't have the built-in here, but it's still a really high quality cooktop and uh, oven. Really like that a lot actually. And huge open living space. You've got the dining area right in between the kitchen and the living area. If you didn't want to use that to put a dining room table, you could just leave that open and use this huge island as your dining room. I mean, you could easily fit Oh man, I bet you could fit, I bet you could fix six stools on that too. Um, it's another thing too. So, oh, okay, they don't have this available, but I was gonna say electric fireplace, that's kind of cool, but no longer available in the design studio. So forget about that. Um, another thing though, you do get high ceilings here. So nine foot ceilings everywhere. Again, you can kind of see the backyard here, very similar to what we saw before. So we won't mess with going out there, but they've got a nice big extended patio with the railing around there really really cool and then over here when we walked past when we walked in here was another like flex area game room study whatever you wanted to use it for so 2,000 square feet you got three bedrooms you've got a half bath which is very rare for a smaller one-story house like this and then you've got this really nice flex space with this really cool carpet and then your laundry room right here leading into your garage two-car garage with the two single bays that you saw on the exterior but Let's go over here to the master and it looks like so everywhere except for that flex space has tile in this house and you get into this master and it is a huge master i mean this is a this is probably it's definitely a king size bed but i mean even if you wanted to use that front flex space as like your office or oh, not your office if you want to use it as like a playroom or just like a second living area you've got enough space to put an office in here like you could put a desk in here to use if you work from home um, and then whenever you come in here to the master bath how about that for a massive walk-in shower? I mean, I'm six foot, so you can clearly see it is way bigger than me. So you've got the, this is kind of nice, it's well thought out, the control valve there, shower over there, it's got a bench on the side. Got a, you know, kind of similar size closet. You know, I guess I've noticed that too. The closets here aren't huge, but you've got plenty of space. You can add an extra rack down low if you really wanted to or some shelves there you could put your dresser in there just to kind of save some space then you've got your room in there with the toilet but overall like i said 2,000 square foot this house you could probably build for under four hundred thousand dollars so keep that in mind like if you want to customize it you're of course going to add stuff to it right if you want to upgrade the countertops upgrade the finishes on the cabinets the floors all that stuff you pay for those upgrades with kv but it's still a really really good quality product even at this stage which this isn't even like a super high quality model stage so the next place that we're going to go look at is that neighborhood i was talking about brand spanking new no houses have sold in there yet they've got houses they're building they've got two model homes that we're going to go look at and i think you're going to be very very impressed at what you see and the prices that you get there so let's go take a look i'll show you exactly where they're at first and then we'll go take a look at those model homes all right so we're headed over to the last neighborhood and this is a big one it is corley Farms. so corley farms like i said brand spanking new into bernie it doesn't have any houses that have sold yet they've got two model homes working on a third actually working on a fourth because there's three different builders there 
Um, you actually will have Pulte, Syntex, and Perry Homes. So Perry Homes, I've talked about them a lot. Outstanding builder. Pulte and Syntex. Haven't done a whole lot of videos about them, but they are one of the more affordable builders. Now Pulte is going to build a outstanding, really high quality product in this neighborhood, whereas Syntex is going to be the more affordable option, especially for Bernie. But we're going to talk about the prices whenever we get in to that last house after we go through that Pulte model home. I'll tell you exactly what the price range is for this neighborhood and kind of give you some specifics on that. But the biggest thing that I want to mention is that this neighborhood, when you're coming in, it just feels amazing. They're going to have three amenity centers, like I said, 1,100 homes, potentially 1,600 homes in this neighborhood if they are able to add the next section that they're trying to purchase. And it has its own elementary school. We'll go into the location and everything right now so you can kind of have an idea of where it's at in Bernie. And I'll also tell you a little bit about the property taxes and all the other details about it. So like I showed you earlier, Corley Farms is located in Bernie, northwest of San Antonio. It is actually going to be located a little bit further south than the Shoreline Park neighborhood is. So you see Bernie right here. You see the Bernie City Lake up here where Shoreline Park is. You go just a little bit further south right off of Scenic Loop Road right here. So as you can see, we're just south of Bernie, right? So Scenic Loop Road goes right here. So just south, so a little bit closer into town, really. Still Bernie ISD. Both these neighborhoods are Bernie ISD, which is super important. Now, when you zoom in on Scenic Loop Road, you're going to see, well, there's not really much there that you can really tell. But what you can see is this little elementary school right here. Just shows an open field as a picture. But when we go to the satellite view, you automatically see Corley Farms shows up. Corley Farms is right here. So this is the entrance going into Corley Farms right here. This is the main entrance going in. The new elementary school is going to be right here. So when we zoom out, you can see we're actually just south of Regent Park, another big, more established neighborhood, still a new neighborhood. Bernie's right here. So when you zoom in, you can see the development that's gone on with Corley, Corley Farms thus far. Now, when you zoom in, like I said, elementary school here, but the model homes that we're going to be looking at is right here in this area. You can see two of them right here. You've got the rooftops there, but they've got, you know, they've got two others that are under construction. Those are the two that we're actually going to go see today. So Corley Farms, just some details here. 1,100 home sites that are currently slotted to be developed. Developed. They are trying to get more property out there so they can do 1600. There is going to be an amenity center. It is really, really nice. And I've actually got a picture of it right here that I'll show you of the amenity center plan. So Corley Farms, you can see this is the amenity center plan for the first amenity center. They are supposed to get two, possibly three, if they get that extra land. And they're accessible to everybody in the community. It's not just one section of the community or another. So this amenity center, you've got the clubhouse, the pool, you've got a you know park with the walking trails, you've got a pavilion, pickleball courts, and a half basketball court all along with you know all kinds of different park spaces really really outstanding amenity plan there and it's just an overall just a really nice looking community as you're driving in it's got this big huge beautiful entrance which is really nice now a couple other things that you need to know about Corley Farms tax rate here is higher it's 2.48 percent now the reason for that is that it is in a water control improvement district so essentially what this means is that the city of Bernie I've talked about in other videos before is not prone to a ton of development and one of the reasons is the utility infrastructure. So they did not have the water to give Corley Farms from the city of Bernie itself. City of Bernie gets their water from Canyon Lake. They have a limit of how much they can get. This is one of the reasons why the development doesn't happen as much in Bernie. You can't develop places where you don't have water to give people. So they are limited on how much water they can give. And the, the water that they're getting actually comes from saws. So they created a pipeline that came up there. So they're having to pay for all that. It was like $150 million bond. So it added that increase in the property taxes. But going from 2.48, like I mentioned, Shoreline Park is 1.86. 2.48%, what I was told is that that is going to be for 10 to 11 years. I'm not 100% certain if that's absolutely accurate, but that's what I was told by the sales counselor at Pulte. So if it's only 10 to 11 years, you know, maybe you can handle it. You've got all these new homestead exemptions that Texas has put on uh, that I've talked about before that are, you know, a lot of savings, you know, $1,000, $1,500 a year total savings with that new homestead exemption, depending on how big your house is. So you've got all those different benefits. Now, the HOA is a little bit more expensive as well, but there's a catch with that. So it's $800 a month. So $100 a month, not $800 a month, $100. So $1,200 a year. But what that includes is your fiber internet. So they went to Spectrum, got a deal with them that basically they are providing fiber internet to that area. They Nobody else would come out there because it's a little bit farther out without them doing it this way. So just take mine, for example. I personally, for my internet at my house, my fiber internet, I pay $85 a month. So that's an extra $15 
dollars a month, really, that you're going to be paying for, you know, the HOA amenities, which is outstanding for what you're getting. You can see all that from that amenity plan. That is a really, really nice deal that I think that is really unique. I've never seen anybody else do that to include that fiber internet with the HOA package and to get it basically at a discount so that they can pay for the utilities or for that fiber internet utility and infrastructure on top of the HOA infrastructure. They were able to get a deal on that fiber internet for everybody and now they're able to use the, the remainder of that savings to pay for the HOA and it's, and it's a win-win for everybody in my opinion. So that is a great deal. There are you know all kinds of different benefits with this neighborhood that we're going to talk about as we get into these houses. Oh, and one last thing. One of the reasons that this is such a good relief for the community and for Corley Farms, especially for the builders, this has been under a process for six years now. Uh, they've been trying to get this developed. They've owned this property for six years. It has been that long of a development time period to be able to get the water figured out, to be able to get the fiber figured out, the gas figured out. All of that things is a full gas community as you'll see whenever we walk through these houses. So all these different little things add up to make such a beautiful community like Corley Farms. And you're going to see some of these really nice houses that we're going to go look at. And trust me, make sure you subscribe to this channel. Like, if you're liking this video, hit that like button for me. It's a huge favor on my part and push this out there so that more people can see this video. But ultimately, please do subscribe so that you can see future videos like this on these neighborhoods. And just talking about all these different areas of San Antonio, that's what I'm here for. That's what I'm trying to do with this YouTube channel. So if you'd like to see more of that, hit that subscribe. Now let's get into that Syntex model home so you can see exactly what you get in Corley Farms. Welcome to Corley Farms. So we are in front of the Syntex model home. We've got Perry Homes over here. They're still working on that one. And we've got two Pulte Home models over here that we're gonna go into next. First, we're gonna hit the Syntex home. So this one is the more affordable builder. Like I said, these are some of the most affordable builders in the entire area of Bernie. It's really hard to get an affordable new house in Bernie, really just starting at like 450 in most cases to really get into a brand new house in Bernie. But let's take a look at this one. This is one of their biggest floor plans. Actually, I think this is Syntex home biggest floor plan to go So around 2,500 square feet. Um, but this one specifically has four bedrooms. It's got an office and it's got a huge living space. Real open space here. So what you notice as soon as you walk in, you're right here, this big dining room area open to the, uh, to the living room. You've got a study right here to the right, right at the front and then over here on the left. So this is your access to your garage. So we're not gonna go in there because that's where they're having the, the their office is right now. But when you go over here, you got a full bath and a bedroom right here. So you, you all the other bedrooms and the master and everything are upstairs. But what you're gonna find is that, especially, you know, in my experience, a lot of people, when all the bedrooms are upstairs, it's kind of a negative because they wanna have at least one downstairs, you know, if you're an older couple or if, for instance, you have, you know, relatives that would be coming over and staying and they can't get up the stairs they need a place downstairs or if you have in-laws coming in and, and living with you this is a perfect little in-law suite here full ensuite bathroom right by the garage right by everything here at the front you got two coat closets right here and then like i said walk in huge open dining room i mean plenty of space to fit a huge dining room table big open living space lots of windows back here Big kitchen, kitchen island, fit a few few chairs here at the island. Not a huge giant island, but a good size. Gas neighborhood out here. So that was the difference. Shoreline Park was all electric. You have gas out here. Now that is one of the things that I'll mention too. So there are houses that they're building right now and they have lots of houses under contract. So they are selling these really fast already. So if you have any questions about that and if you want to see what you can get into one of these for, give me a call. Um, but. The, uh, the big thing is that's holding them up. They don't know when they're going to close because it could be April, could be May, probably not going to be any further than that, but they're having to get all the gas lines hooked up and get the gas meters to those houses. So as you can see, big kitchen. Another thing that I really like that you don't see very much in spec houses like this, you've got the sink with a window. I love this because I personally don't like it when you either put it in the island or when it's away from the island, um, when you have it, you know, being able to, do your dishes and just being able to have some some freedom to look outside is, is really nice. That's what we have in our house. My wife loves it. Um, pantry's here, not a huge pantry again, but you know, decent sized pantry. And then we'll get upstairs, we'll check out the rooms up here. So like I said, about 2,500 square foot house. I already feel like the downstairs feels really, really nice, personally. Um, oh, other thing, Syntex, they do not build from the dirt. Uh, so. These are only spec homes. So that means that if you're looking at these more affordable Syntex homes, again, we'll mention the price as soon as we get over to Pulte, then you're going to be buying a house that they're already building. The finishes that you see is what you're gonna see in pretty much every single house. 
I do believe they have some potentially different flooring covers, but our flooring colors, but I think that everything else for the most part is 100% exactly as you're gonna see it. So this is the model home. What she is, what you're gonna get, which is good because there's no surprises really of getting cheaper, you know, finishes. Really big open living space in the loft. You know, lots of light coming in through the front. You can see from this model home, you can get a sneak peek over there where that big elementary school is gonna be. Elementary school number eight for Bernie ISD. Room right there we'll get to in just a second, but I wanna to get to these first. Secondary bedroom here. Bathroom, quartz countertops, lots of drawer space. Nice, nice bathroom here. And good size secondary bedrooms all the way across. Good walk-in closets right here that you can see. That's something that we didn't see in the last builder's house, but these are these are great. And then the other thing, which a lot of people really like on the second floor, especially whenever you have the master on the second floor, is the laundry room right here. So you have everything on one level. You don't have to go up and down the stairs for laundry and just makes it a little bit simpler. Now let's get into the massive master bedroom which is just huge i mean you've got all kinds of extra space around here so kind of like i said in the last at that last house that we were in if you have the study downstairs if you wanted to use that for something else kids playroom or whatever you've got plenty of space in this master bedroom to put you know an office over here in the corner if you work from home um, you also have a huge master bathroom here now that was the other thing so Mention that this, the basic finishes here. You can walk in shower here with a nice glass finish. Honestly, I like that. Um, so the quartz countertop. So one thing that he did mention whenever I was talking to him, they do have a darker cabinet color. So instead of the white, they have the option for a darker cabinet color. With that darker cabinet color, for whatever reason, does not come with a walk-in shower. It comes with the shower type combo. So take what you get. You can get that, you know, and, and remodel it. I mean, even this, this is just an insert, very simple insert. So you can pull that out, tile it, make it really, really nice if you wanted to. And this is really nice compared to what we saw before. Huge closet. So, I mean, this is as big as some rooms in some, some of these houses like this in other neighborhoods, right? All the shelving, again, you can upgrade all the stuff. This is all wire shelving. Me personally, I'd probably upgrade it to wood at some point in time, but it works great for right now. So, Syntex great house super super affordable and now let's walk outside we're gonna go check out pulte welcome to pulte homes the farm this is what y'all been waiting for this house here in the showstopper we've got the model homes here so as you can see me personally so i'm i'm a country boy if you can't tell by my jeans and boots it's 93 out here this style house i absolutely the dormers, all the cedar wood finishes, the big front porch, the rock on the outside. I absolutely love that. This here reminds me a lot. So Pulte historically has always been, you know, kind of your middle of the road, higher quality, but middle of the road builder, right? They haven't gotten to the level of the Perry homes or Highland homes. This to me, when I pulled up, I thought this was the Perry home model. That's how good of a quality of house this is. So let's go take a look inside and see exactly what all the hype is about. Eight foot doors, standard across all the Pulte stuff here. When you walk in, you can see it. You can clearly see the floors. I mean, this first impression, floors, baseboards, high quality, higher quality stuff. I mean, huge, huge entryway. I mean, just look up over us. I mean, we've got this balcony overlooking from the game room, all these finishes. Now, mind you, this is a model home. Pulte, you can customize this stuff. You can build from the ground up. You can go as far out as you want to. This house in particular is a 3,200 square foot house. He said that with the finishes in this house, you're going to be about 700-ish thousand. So that gets me to my pricing on this. Before we go in and look at all this, pricing here in Corley Farms with Syntex, you're gonna be starting at the mid 300, so around 350. Again, another mid 300 house in Bernie for a brand new high quality house like in Syntex is extremely hard to find. And especially in a neighborhood like this, that's going to be just massive. It's gonna to have tons of amenities at the elementary school. Got everything that you could ever want and incredibly affordable with high quality builders around you like this. So Pulte itself starts at around 450. So just because it's a higher end product, you can customize it, go up. Syntex is gonna go from 350 to about 450 on the upper end, probably getting closer to 500 on some of those bigger houses. But that 2,500 square foot house that we were in over there is around 450 right now, just to give you an idea. So these start at 450. This house, if you're gonna start as like a base package, is gonna be around 550. And then adding all these finishes that we're gonna see, you're around 700,000, just to give you an idea. But 3,200 square foot house, 
and we're gonna see these crazy finishes and just go through everything. So again, floors I started out with. Second thing I wanna point out, the trim finishes and then the casing around the doors, that is an extremely high-end finish to me. You don't see that anywhere. And I've tried pricing that out for my house and it is expensive, trust me. So come in here, you just look at the finish, you know, you got the black fixtures here, the really high quality countertops, much better cabinets um, than in the Syntex model. And then this one actually has a walk-in shower too with the, with the black finishes here too. Got a marble tile. Um, Got the coat closet right here in the front. Now, let's go into the bedroom here. I almost forgot about that. <laughs> so, again, high ceilings. We've got all these light fixture options. Big cabinet here, or big closet here. So, this is like your guest suite, right? You have the, the bedroom, bathroom, all in one right here at the front. And then you come in, go over here, across the hall. You're at the entrance to the garage right here. You've got this really cool mud bench, and then this glass door room be your study or flex space whatever you want to use it for i wouldn't expect them to all these finishes that you're seeing on the wall that's probably not something that they would do for just anybody but for the right price somebody will do it dining room when you walk in right here really crazy modern light fixture which is really cool uh, then uh again high ceilings everywhere now kitchen is a showstopper this quartz countertops with this banding in it this is a high high-end finish on the quartz. You got gas in here. On the outside, one thing you're not gonna be able to see here is the tankless water heater on the outside of this house. So for those of you that aren't familiar, especially a big house, if you're a big family, tankless water heater is a water heater that never runs out of hot water. It just continues to go. Gas is super efficient. That's what I have in my house. That's what my dad, being a plumber, has recommended us to get, and it works super, super well. So all of these counters, you, you know, cabinets here, you've got the green in here. I mean, this is, these are great, great finishes on these counter, uh, these cabinets here. Backsplash, you can see the higher quality finishes on that too. I mean, just across the board, gold, you know, water faucet here. You also got this breakfast area with these big, huge sliding doors here. So you've got the dining area, breakfast area, and then a big open living area with the gas fireplace. As you can see, it is already set up and ready to go. All you do is flip the switch right here, and that turns that on. That's all you have to worry about. So again, huge ceilings, love that. And then when you come over here, master this way, laundry room this way, right here by the master, which is really, really cool. Got the countertops here, lots of cabinetry in here, really nice flooring. So, I mean, and you know what? I'm gonna, I'm gonna point this out too, because it's not something I see very often. You've got finishes on the back side of where your washer and dryer go. Most builders just throw up whatever they want. Nobody's ever gonna see it, they don't think about it. They've got the better trim on the back side to really touch up everything. So it just kind of shows all the extra details that they're going towards. Now, and this master, bay windows, upgraded bay windows, huge tall ceilings, lots of space. Um, and then when you come in here to this master bathroom, you've got this massive, huge, long vanity. So Oops. You've got this huge long space for all of your stuff that you would need right here on the center. Two sinks, huge shower with a door. I mean, personally, I much prefer it to have a door versus not have a door. That's just my preference. But you've got the water there and you've got the rain shower head up at the top too. And then, go over here. Linen closet one, right here. Linen closet one. I didn't actually open this up. Let's see here, okay, toilet. Linen closet number two. So no lack of storage in this space with two linen closets and all those drawers. You also have two closets here. You've got one, this would be my closet. I would get probably that bottom rack down there and then my wife would get everything else. And then you've got her closet, huge closet all the way up to the top. You get a ladder to go up there, I guess. I don't even know. You get, I've, I've seen them get those little poles to get all the stuff from up there, but again, huge huge space you can fit anything and everything that you would ever dream of in here um, finish it out with all the built-ins that you would need now let's go check out the outside so not a huge yard on this one specifically with the model and but that's typical for these types of neighborhoods right got the big sliding doors but you got a really good covered patio space here not huge by any means but they did a little extended patio out here for the model you know decent amount of space Again, there's going to be lots in this neighborhood that are going to have a lot more space than this for you to put like your pool, 
to put the you know extended patio area if you wanted to put like a pergola or something back there with the fire pit you're going to have options for neighborhood or for lots like that in this neighborhood uh, and that's one of the benefits of being able to build from the ground up in these neighborhoods with Pulte is because you can go and pick that lot that you want if you want a green belt lot you want a big cul-de-sac corner lot all kinds of options with that again let's go upstairs i'm looking at all these finishes and everything that kind of start from the ground up. You have the stain step on this first one, matches the banister railing here. This is solid wood, this is all stained really, really nice. These are high quality finishes here. And as you go up, you just got these tall ceilings that extend from the entryway. And then you've got this huge, big loft area here with an attached media room. So this is also an upgrade. You can change, one of the things that he told me that you could do you can modify these floor plans in certain ways. So you could add a media room, take away a media room, add a study. You can do certain things like that with some of the different floor plans that they have to really customize it to your own taste, right? To your own functionality. Got a ton of space here. Plenty of big enough for a pool table. This here, I'm guessing is the attic space there. So that's probably where your AC unit and everything is in Texas. They most of the time are in the attics. And then when you go over here, you've got two bedrooms. They have, looks like the design room here. I haven't been into this room specifically, but kind of shows some of the different things that they do well. So just another, you know, bedroom here, full bathroom here with the marble tile on the back by the shower and the bathtub. Um, not your typical, just insert that you're just throwing in there. And then you have another secondary bedroom that's huge. I mean, this is a massive secondary bedroom. Don't have a walk-in closet, but still a good space in the closet here. Just a ton, ton of room around here. Now, like I've said, guys, this neighborhood in particular is brand, brand new. They build from the ground up here with Pulte and with Perry, I think, and, and Syntex, they're just building spec homes. If you have any questions at all about this neighborhood, reach out to me. My information is down below. Like I said, I, I love working with new construction clients like you. If you, you know, if you decide to work with me, I may or may not have a little bit of incentive that I can provide to you, but you can reach out directly and just, if you're just curious what that would be, you can shoot me a text or email and just say, hey, what's the incentive you're offering for new construction? And that's for me personally. Pulte is offering lots of different incentives as well with their closing costs, with their interest rate buy downs. I think he told me that if you get into a spec home here, 60 days out from when that spec home will close, they're gonna give you a great buy down of getting down to around four and a half percent. Now that's depending on when you end up contracting on that, but that is crazy, crazy good in this market, guys, with seven and a quarter interest rates where we're at right now. So you've got all kinds of good stuff going in with Corley Farms and with Shoreline Park. Um, if you have any questions whatsoever about moving here, reach out. If this video has been valuable to you at all, hit that like button, comment what you think about it, comment what your favorite part of these two neighborhoods are, and if there's any other neighborhoods you wanna see, and if you have any questions at all, like I said, reach out. Love helping you guys make these moves to San Antonio, to Bernie. And make sure that for the next video, you check out this one right here where I go through all the pros and cons of Bernie itself. So that if you want to know if Bernie's the right area for you and your family, you can check that out. And until the next video, we'll see you there.